Good afternoon. My name is Allison Howard, and I'm happy to be with you today to talk about the use of thermally conductive plastics in mobile phone applications. I'd like to start by sharing details of the mobile phone model, talk about the heat dissipation challenges that could be addressed with thermally conductive plastics, then finish with a look at specific benefits of boron nitride-based thermally conductive plastics in electronics applications. Here's a simple model of a mobile phone that has multiple sources of heat on a plastic backing plate. Now we're assuming a highly convection limited environment inside the mobile phone, so there are no fans to help dissipate the heat. Let's take a look at the temperatures. Our baseline case assumes a plastic housing for the mobile phone without any thermal conductivity enhancement. In this case, it's a polycarbonate with a thermal conductivity of around 0.2 watts per meter Kelvin. Now, one of the many benefits of working with thermally conductive plastics is that you have a lot of formulation freedom to design only what's needed in terms of heat dissipation. Here we modeled three different cases, assuming that the mobile phone case was made out of a 2 watt per meter Kelvin thermally conductive plastic, a 3 watt per meter Kelvin, or a 5 watt per meter Kelvin thermally conductive plastic. When we compare the temperatures from the baseline to the various thermally conductive plastic housings, we see dramatic decreases of around 20 to 35 degrees from the addition of the thermally conductive filler. These decreases can translate into lower operating temperatures, more comfort for the user, and potentially reduced failure rates from overheating. There are various material solutions to pick from when trying to solve thermal management problems. Die-cast aluminum and graphite-loaded plastics are sometimes used. However, they both also contribute electrical conductivity, which could be undesirable in certain applications. Ceramic additives like boron nitride can be used to make thermally conductive plastics which are electrically insulating. These plastics are also lightweight, offer a wide range of color and design freedom, and won't interfere with wireless signals. Wireless devices communicate via electromagnetic waves and electrically conductive materials could interfere with these waves, shielding communications to and from devices. Typical thermally conductive plastic formulations in the thermal conductivity ranges that were used in the mobile phone example would contain around 30 to 50 weight percent of graphite or carbon fiber and have an electrical resistivity in the range of 10 to the 1 to 10 to the 3 ohm centimeters. At a frequency of 1 gigahertz and a thickness of 2 millimeters, these plastics provide 8 to 30 decibels of shielding. To put that into perspective, at 10 decibels of shielding, the final signal strength is only one-tenth of the original, and at 20 decibels, the final signal is only one one-hundredth of the original. So you can see how electrically conductive materials could be disadvantageous in some electronics applications. There is a clear trend towards smaller electronic devices with greater functionality. Adding thermal conductivity to plastic housings can provide another option for managing heat by lowering temperatures and reducing failure rates. Specifically, boron nitride-based thermally conductive plastics are electrically insulating and therefore won't interfere with wireless signals. They're also lightweight, offer broad color and design freedom. Momentum has the broadest product portfolio for creating thermally conductive plastics which are also electrically insulating. We can help with simulating temperatures, formulating plastics, and measuring thermal conductivity. Please contact Momentive to help solve your next thermal management challenge. Thanks for your attention.